Welcome to my third NFL 2015 prediction update. Uh, Dan and I uh, made predictions a while back, and well, I'll put those videos down below, and let's find out how terrible we're doing. In the AFC East, we both picked Dallas to lead the division, but in reality, the Redskins are. They're 5-6, uh, while Dallas is 3-8. Uh, and eight. They're in last place right now. And Daniel's notes, he said that the Eagles might not make it to 8-8, eight and, eight, and they're currently 4-7. and seven. Uh, In the AFC North, we both picked Green Bay to lead the division, but in reality, uh, the Vikings are. They're 8-3, and, and our pick Green Bay is 7-4. They're in second place. And Daniel's notes, he said that Bears might, uh, might go own 6 in the division, but... When the Packers were playing, yeah, um, yeah, the Bears, the Bears easily defeated the Packers. Uh, in the NFC South, I picked New Orleans, down picked Carolina. In reality, Carolina still undefeated at 11 0. Uh, well, New Orleans is 4 and 7, they're in last place. And uh, Daniel's notes said that um, the Panthers might be the only team above, above 500, but currently the currently the Falcons are above 500. In the NFC West, we both picked Seattle, to lead the division, but in reality, uh, the Cardinals are leading the division. At 9-2, while Seattle 6-5, they're in second place. And Dallas Prediction said that the Cardinals might take the West, and surely, surely they are taking the West. In the AFC East, we both picked Buffalo to uh, lead the division, but in reality, the Patriots are leading the division at 10-1. Um, while Buffalo's at 5-6, they're in second place. No notes there. AFC North, uh, we both picked Seattle to lead the division, but in reality, the, uh, the Bengals are leading the division at 9-2. Pittsburgh, six, uh, Pittsburgh is at 6 and 5, they're in second place. And Dallas notes that the Bengals might not go into the playoffs, but they're leading the division, so they're going to the playoffs. And then the Ravens, let's talk about the Ravens not going to the playoffs, but they are kind of in the hunt, but not really, so yeah, Dallas kind of downs right on that. In the AFC South, I picked Indianapolis, down for Houston. In reality, both teams are tied at 6 and 5, but Indianapolis uh, beat Houston early in the season, so, so they're leading the division. But by barely, I honestly, honestly do think that that, that that the Texans will take the will take the South because the way the Colts have been playing, like they've been playing better, but but the Texans, the Texans are just so so dominant right now. In the AFC West, I picked Oakland. I'll pick uh, Denver. In reality, Denver's winning, uh, leading the division at nine and two, uh, while Oakland is five and six, they're in third place. Um, the Raiders were looking good, but now they're spotty, and the Broncos still look uh, still look unstoppable. So, to tally up the divisions, I only have one, Daniel has two, so he's beating me once again. <laughs> and now it's time for the Defensive Player of the Year. Uh, I picked Justin Houston of the Chiefs, and well, he's one of, the best, one of the best players on the Chiefs defense, but he's not really being talked about. And Daniel picked J.J. Watt of the Texans, he's being talked about because he has 13 and a half sacks, and he leads the, leads the league in the sacks this season. And as for MVP, I picked Andrew Luck of the Colts. He's he's replaced by Matt Hasselbeck, so yeah, not talked about. And then for Aaron Rodgers of the Packers, um, he would be he would be talked about, but he lost four of his last five games, so yeah, he's not gonna be MVP. And that was my third update. My next update should involve Daniel, but we'll find out. And uh, I guess I'll see you till then. And remember, kids, mind your biscuits and life for gravy.